I had a neighbor, her name was Jackie Hinchy, lovely lady. And she had this concept of a school that was design oriented, but not necessarily college oriented. And she spent her first six years at DASH. I mean, she, uh, with a group, a committee, you know, how we do things by committee, um, wrote a proposal for this school that would center on design. And it would not only produce designers, it would produce technicians, not just the architects, but the draftsmen. And it was a wonderful concept. And um, when I got there, you know, unfortunately she, she retired and immediately passed away in a tragic car accident. But I, it was a hard act to follow. She was loved for her um, innovation and just making people in, in or the, the school board realized what a totally important concept this was, something different than fine art. I, on the other hand, had a different vision. I, I really think that you have to be an artist to be a designer. You have to really know the very basic principles of, of fine art. So I combined the programs and made it a dual fine art and uh, design program where we, I think, you know, we had, oh, architecture, interior design, industrial design, which was, you know, phenomenal. Nobody has industrial design at that level. Uh, fashion, uh, graphic design, uh, film and entertainment, which came through an Annenberg grant that we put together. And, um, it was, and it just fell into place. Um, what, what I did to change the vision was to add a parallel fine art component that would have advanced placement and dual enrollment with FIU and Miami-Dade College. We ended up going just with FIU in the end because in the beginning there were free colleges and lots of people coming and going. So we, we just stuck with FIU. And so the students would graduate with college credits, which would certainly help them get into some of the major arts and design colleges throughout the country. And, you know, the, a lot of these students would have never had the opportunity to go to school even locally had they not seen what was around them and experienced um, the potential that they had. And believe me, I had a lot of help. And we talked about this before. Uh, Rosa and Carlos de la Cruz started a program that made sure that 40 students every summer got to New York City to study at SVA and this incredible um, program where they spent a week experiencing New York when they hadn't even experienced Miami for the most part, and then went to three weeks at the School for Visual Arts and got a college credit or three college credits. They partnered with uh, the Knight Foundation, Alberto Barguin and Dennis Scholl helped us tremendously. We did it as a pilot in the beginning to see if it would work. The students came back. We had an exhibit. We allowed three students to just uh, speak a little testimonial on their experience. And there wasn't a dry eye in the house. There really wasn't. It was a, it was a private uh, event. But after that, um, we got a million dollars. <laughs> and that helped boost the program and make it happen. It's still going on. I mean, it didn't, of course, this year or last year because of the pandemic, but it will, it will arise again and I'll do whatever I can to help it. But beyond that, just being exposed to alumni who had experienced that, and now we're probably on the third, third generation of four-year students who had actually gone to Cooper Union gone to you know 
Yale, gone to Maryland Institute College of Art, when that didn't happen in the past. So now we've got two schools and there are more out there, but these two are really churning them out. And, and I think that that is truly the driving force of the art scene in this city.